Did you ever want to know how to graft a coral? Well, I did, and this is what happened. So hey, how's everybody doing? On this video, um, I've always wanted a grafted Monte cap in my tank. I've always wanted to have that red and green, Christmassy kind of coral um, sitting at the top of my tank. Well, I did some research, and I did not find a lot of videos on it, but uh, there was a lot of printed material. So I figured, what better way but to bring you along through the process of me grafting a green and red Monte cap together. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, get something out of it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. It's a way to keep up on my latest videos and uh, you'll get a notification every time one comes out. So with that being said, instead of the reef tank, let's go to the table and get some work done. Okay, so in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to be grafting a red and green Montipora cap um, onto a frag plug and um, trying to get them to come together so you have that classic red and green Monty pork cap um, that everybody has in the tank and everybody loves. So um, what you'll need to do this is obviously a pair of rubber gloves, some dollar store, some dollar store glue, towel, some kind of container to hold your frags in, some kind of space to work on. In this case, I'm using the, the cover that came with this. Uh, and also some tools to help you. Um, I recently, recently purchased this and uh, Billy Pipes picked it up at one of his amazing finds at one of the places that was uh, having a huge sale. And what it is, is a huge fragging kit with all the tools. I threw the toothbrush in there. It doesn't come with a toothbrush. And basically it's got everything you need. Tweezers, forceps, two different kinds of fragging cutters, um, a scalpel, and uh, just a bunch of stuff to use to frag. So definitely worth the money that I paid for it. And now let's go get the frags and I'll show you um, how to go about doing this. Okay, so here I have the frags of the Monty Pour that I'll be using. Here is the green one, the red, and I have two frag plugs that I have. I like to put them in the water so this way any dust that's on them can, can come off. Um, and also there's a, huh, there's a little critter. One of my pods came off and is now running around a little bucket, but that, that'll be all right because he'll go back in. So now, the way you do this is very simple. The first part that I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue uh, a nice piece of the red Monty on. I'm going to be giving myself an edge to work with. Okay, so an, a, a part of it that's nice and straight. So this way I can glue it onto the frag plug and also come along with the red one, the green one and give it a place to butt up against it. And so the first thing I want to do is prepare my frag plug by putting a nice piece of glue to glue down the Monty with. Just like that. And now I will take piece of red and glue it down like that. Okay, now that that's done, I'll let that I'll put that back in the water. Now I'm not going to be using this whole piece of green, but I am going to be taking a piece of it to frag off. And the way I'm going to do that is
by getting this, this pair of pliers. Monty's are, are very easy, and you could most likely just break this off with, with your fingers. Uh, but I'm trying to get as easy and straight of a cut, so I like to snap it using basically the edge of the tweezer to snap it off just like that. So now I have this nice little piece and I'm going to do the same thing here is I'm going to be gluing down putting a nice strip of glue where the green's going to go. You can see with the water on here it kind of skins over a little bit. That's all right. I'll clear that up with the frag. So now we're going to take the green piece and put that there, making sure that none of the crazy glue gets on top where it's going to grow out. So that is basically the end product. They're butting up against the edge, which is important because they don't crust over this and crust over each other and start spreading into each other. Um, and we'll just put this back in the tank now and keep an eye on um, just how it progresses over the coming months. Okay, now right here I have two more pieces that I'm going to do. These are a little smaller, so uh, I anticipate the result will be a little bit different than the larger piece of red and green that I had. Again, I'm putting a little down for the first frag. I'm getting a straight edge, which is right here, and putting that down first. I'll actually dip this in the water to allow the crazy glue that's on it a chance to skin over. I want to clear off some water from this area because you saw the last one how much it skinned up when I um, did that. And I want to bring this a little closer for you to see just the, how the process goes. Right here I have the edge that I want. And I'm going to put the glue right down along that seam and then come out with it so I can hold the frag down just like that try and tighten up my glue okay just like that now I grab my other piece and put the edge that I want right there this is actually snapped off another edge so I'm going to just simply oh that's I put that in there I'm going to add a little bit more glue right here and lay this piece right here so now it's a matter of just waiting for it to heal waiting for it to crust over and see how that starts spreading so basically that's it um, that's the way to attempt to graft two pieces of Monty just make sure that your seams where the Monty's are touching each other are nice and tight so this way they can grow over it and then crust over um, again, we'll be following the progress of this as time goes on and just see how it turns out. It's my first time trying it. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research on it and this is basically the method that everybody uses. So that's it for now. Until next time, this is Scott and I'll see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.